Hi, today we want to talk about lipomas or fatty tumors. Lipomas are really common tumors in dogs, and they occur when a group of fat cells under the skin grows rapidly. If you have any growth in your dog that grows rapidly or changes color or bleeds, take it in to see the vet. But I'll just kind of show you what we do when you want it, when you have it checked out. Um, lipomas occur under the skin. And in order to make sure it's not a dangerous tumor, here's the bulgy tumor. In order to make sure it's not a dangerous tumor like a mast cell tumor, we put a needle in it. And Fred's just laying there very quietly. Fred's a girl. So I have to get used to calling her, not him. So it's Fred the girl. Hi, Fred the girl. Not very, not, not very interesting. <laughs> so, believe it or not, I just take a needle. Fred goes, what is that? And Fred, do you mind if I put a needle in your lipoma? Fred, do you mind? No, Fred doesn't mind. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're just gonna put a little needle here in the lipoma, like that, and then I'm gonna suck out the fat cells. I, I, I'm presupposing it's a, it's a lipoma. So what I do is I aspirate or I suck out the fat cells, and I move the needle up and down in order to get some cells into the syringe into the hub of the syringe. So if you see that, I'm going in and out of the lipoma and I'm sucking in and then I pull out. Juice Fred. Fred says, Fred says, would you mind? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> so Fred, you just stay there for a minute. I'm gonna look at your cells. Fred says, I'm gonna go over here. So next Next, I take a slide, and I take the, the syringe with the cells in it, and I squirt it on the slide. So I'll show you closely what that looks like. So, believe me, that doesn't look like much. Those are just enough cells. There's thousands of cells there, you see. We don't need many when we aspirate masses to see what it is. So we'll be looking for cells that are not fatty cells that might be dangerous. Yeah. You can see it glistening. Uh, a lot of times fat cells are just like an oil droplet on the side and they glisten. And that's what a lipoma looks like on a slide. Okay. And now we move to stain it. This is where the techs come in because the doctors don't like to do the little busy work. What we have to do to make sure that the fat cells stick onto the slide and don't fall off of the staining fluid is we use fire. We call it a heat fix. We just give it a quick one, a two, a three. All right, after 60 seconds into the fixative, we dab it off and it goes for into the, the next one here. This is one of the stains. It'll stain certain types of cells and certain parts of other cells. All right, now that we're done with the purple stain, I'm going to dab it off. I'm going to rinse it off gently in some water. Then we let it dry so we can look at it in the scope. And there, you can't see too much on there. It's a problem with lipomas is they don't really dry well and don't stay on the slides. So let's see what we got. And this is what lipoma cells look like underneath the microscope. You can see the white fatty globules and the thin layer of the cell membrane around and then some of them have a little dot of a nucleus in there too. And that's what we're looking for. Those are safe cells. Now more dangerous cells would be like mast cell tumors and other connective tissue tumors that we have to, would have. Well as you can see the fatty tumors are white with very little color to them and there's a very thin membrane around it with a nucleus where the, these other cells are very dark and have a lot of granules in them and big nuclei. And these are the type of cells that are more, the more dangerous ones that we're looking for that we would have to refer the dog to an oncologist or remove them ourselves. And so these are the type of cells we're looking for. Lipoma, if we put a, a needle in here and we drew it out, it's a group of fat cells that are growing without regard to their surroundings. They actually think 
they're the only cells in the world and they can grow just as much as they want. And they make these big lumps like this that are under the skin. So if you look at the, the lipoma, you can see it came from right under the skin. And uh, here it is. And that should be, this fat should be a, a lining all over the body. It shouldn't be a group of cells like that that made this leg swell way up. So this lipoma was was here on this leg and made it swell up that much. Of course, the skin was on top of it. So when I got it out and I'm tying off the blood vessels, and I'll cut it off, then so it won't so it won't bleed. We have a group of fat now. That's probably say almost a cup of fat and that was growing all in one spot. So that's what a lipoma looks like inside the animal. Well, obesity is a pretty big deal too, and a dog with a lot of lipomas that's very obese, you can cut down on their um, food by measuring their dry food. You can wet down the dry food and add green beans um, and dilute the calories, so you would feed half as much dry food and you would add green beans or water. Um, and that's how you cut the calories in half with the dry food. Another thing you can do is feed canned food that has less calories. And you can also make a crock pot recipe that I have available on my website at Dog Dish Diet. And if you buy the book, there's always a gimmick, isn't there? Uh, that you can uh, download. And I have uh, recipes for dogs that are obese that are a lot more vegetables and less meat and less fat. So there's lots of ways that you can fight obesity, and some of these ways may even help fatty tumors. But some tumors are just genetic or environmental or just particular to your dog. But if your dog's real heavy, take a look at what he eats. Feed less, dilute it, add green beans, feed canned food, it's got less calories. And yes, canned food's okay for dogs. Dog dish diet, I point out why. Well, anyway, well, thanks for watching, and have a great day.